Hey guys, so we all know about the ULEFO Namor X8i, which succeeded the ULEFO Namor X8. Apparently, there is also another Amo X series uh, that isn't announced yet, but it's currently online for sale. In fact, uh, it's called ULEFO Namor X9. It is expected to succeed the ULEFO Namor X8 series. Anyways, the ULEFO Namor X9 is not as great as the ULEFO Namor X8, but like I do mostly on my channel, I'll be talking about the specs and of course the price. Uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. So let's head into it. According to Ulephone, it can handle 30 minutes of immersion in 1.5 meters of water, 24 hours of submersion in 1 meter of concrete, and big drops up to 1.2 meters. It also passed the strict MIL STD 810G certification, which enables it to survive from multiple tests of temperature and transport shocks, humidity, mold, salt spray, corrosion, explosive gas, shooting vibration, etc. No matter how hard the condition is, Amo X9 will protect itself all around and then stand by your side to support you. Now, a lot of people would make their rugged phones go through rough conditions just because of what these um, brands that make rugged phones usually say. If you own a rugged phone, do not make your rugged phone go through any harsh uh, situation at all, okay? Do not deliberately set your rugged phone on fire. Rugged phones are rugged. I know that they can survive being, you know, thrown into water at some point okay they are not invincible they may be rugged they may have ip68 ip69k but that doesn't mean that they are invisible they all have their limits and if you choose to deliberately make your rugged phone go through any of these harsh um, situations you may damage your rugged phone okay anyway the phone has 3gb ram and 32gb storage which can be expanded up to 256 gigabytes using an sd card it is powered by the helio a25 chip uh, which we all know as a chip used on many budget phones the phone is slightly heavy it weighs 235 grams it ships with the android 11 over stock android 11. the phone has a 30 megapixel main camera with two additional 2 megapixel cameras it has a 5 megapixel selfie camera the phone is backed up by a 5000 mAh battery and yeah it doesn't support fast charge so that's kind of like a problem now other features of the phone includes nfc and it supports underwater camera and that's because it is rated ip68 so that's very very good almost all rugged phones these days have ip68 and ip69k support almost all rugged phones it's common these days almost all rugged phones at the same time support nfc it's common anyway that is that about the ulefo namo x9 there isn't much to talk about the phone it's not that impressive i do not spend most time talking about budget rugged phones anyway as regarding the upcoming blackview bl 8800 and the blackview a95 there isn't any information about them yet so we just have to keep waiting that is that about this video if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next news update. Peace out.